And now, ladies and gentlemen, six rounds of boxing scheduled in the junior middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting into the red corner, he wears solid black trunks. He weighed in at 150 and one half pounds. His professional record, 38 victories, 14 defeats, one draw. He has 30 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Barranquilla, Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Fidel. El, el Gallo Monterosa. Monterosa. And his opponent across the ring, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the red trunks. He scaled at already 151 pounds. His professional record, an excellent one. 18 victories, only one defeat. He has 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the Bold Golden. Okay, Ivan, I'll let you work on top of the letters. Fidel, trabaja de aquí para arriba, okay? I gave you the rules in the dress room, te di la intuición en el camino. Protect yourself at all times. Protege en todo momento. Token one touch touching one, good luck. That was back on June 30th. That was a fight that many people felt Golub was the victor in that matchup against Jamonte Clark. That was in Toledo, Ohio on the Undercard of Robert Easter Jr. in his second defense in Toledo of Denis Shafikov. It is Golu though, who is wearing the red with the gold, wearing the black is Fidel Monterosa. So you have the 29 year old who's looking to get back in the win column is Golu. He's a south. He's a terrific trainer, Andre Rosier. Andre Rosier, my pick to be 2017 trainer of the year. Done with Daniel Jacobs and Saddam Ali. Not so. Sergey Derryachinko is well. Set off, set off it's a stay busy fight for Golu, who is hoping to get rid of that taste of defeat from him. And he had the right opponent in front of him. Older. Journeyman type guy who stands right in front of you. Let's just see if mentally Golu has forgot about the loss. There's a three year pro, is Ivan Golu entering his fourth year as a professional. And I like to see a guy right off his loss. If they, if they are truly over the loss, I like to see them get back to. Basics, what they were doing before the loss. Um, but Golub appears to be a little hesitant right now, which means he's thinking about his last loss. He has a 79% knockout percentage, so he does have the ability to turn out your lights. But right now, he's just trying to figure out Monterosa. Straight left down the middle by Golub, another one. And I expect this fight to be sort of dull in, in action because I don't think both guys are going to mix it up that much. It's going to be more of a tactical type chess match. Do you think that Andre Rosier will implore Golu in the second and third round if this seems to be the pattern for the fight? To turn it up a little bit, pick up the intensity because from a psychological standpoint, I think it is absolutely important when you're taking on a fighter who you should beat to get rid of him. Yeah, it's very important for the young man to get rid of the quote unquote opponent. In the moments of the first round, Ivan Golub and Fidel Monterosa both the coverage here from the Barclays. Hey, Flores, Brian 
everyone. It's great to be with you ringside here. Don't forget to chime in on this conversation on social media. Spence Peterson is the hashtag. Spence Peterson is the hashtag on social media. Wherever you're joining us around the world. There you see Fidel Monterosa. Peterson to kick off the new year. Go loop. We're in the red with the gold. We're in the all black is Monterosa. What are you hoping to see here in the second round, Brian, out of Ivan Golub? I mean, the first round was exactly what you had predicted, a feeling out process. I expect, yeah, I expect him to be a little bit more grounded in terms of his um, posture. His position. His oh, and a straight right that puts Golub down. Oh, a finish knockdown. Five, oh, my goodness. Six, right seven. Right hey, come over here. I'm just saying, I expect him to be a little bit more assertive. Positioning and attack. But he attacked her right here, right here, right here. Right right another right hand there. He needs to tuck his chin. Another right hand. Monterosa looking for the massive upset here tonight. And sometimes when... A guy that's supposed to lose, he get the script, but then when he get it in, he says, hey, I don't have to follow the script. Well, I want the I script. Script. Yeah, the the script. script. Right. 100 seconds left here in the second. Monterosa, 38, 14, and 1 with 30 knockouts. So he certainly has punching power. And the fact that he's from Barranquilla, Colombia, we have seen a lot of Colombian power punches that have come out of the ranks. Some of the names that come to mind, Edison Miranda. Uh -huh. Big punch. Stop, stop. No, Big no punch, puncher no punch. in the middleweight stop. division. Awesome. Reedus Prescott as well. That was a shot. Right, Ivan Golden. Reedus Prescott was the first fighter to knock out the opponent in England years ago. So there is, you can tell that there is a propensity. And now that was a goal to go. That is a low blow. That is a low blow. That is a body shot. Five, six, six. Obviously, referee the carry was right in position. From, from here, it appeared to be a low blow. But Let's go. What an interesting and compelling second round between Golub and Monterosa. And Golub turning up and throwing more punches, sitting down in the shots. No, 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 a straight left down wobble. Monterosa. I don't know if that was a stumble or what. Golub on the offensive. This has been a strange second round, Brian. There's no other way to put it. And a body shot, and down goes Monterosa. That's a knockdown. Monterosa saying this problem with his feet. And that's a body shot, so we're even when it comes to the knockout department here in the second. That ends round two. Look at Golu hit the canvas here, Brian. There's a straight right hand. When he went to step in, Fidel Monterosa threw a straight right hand right on his chin. It was a flash knocked and immediately Golub got up. And Monterosa could certainly take a lot from that. And here's the low blow. And he came, let's see, in that angle, again, it still appears to be a low blow, but Eddie Claudio was in a better position. Eddie Claudio standing there looking. Let's see where the punch lands. That's low. Yeah, That's low. That's low, absolutely. And they called that a knockdown. That was a clear low blow. So we're even when it comes to the knockout department in the second. This is round three, scheduled for six. Golub and Monterosa. It's a matchup at 154. As 
Neither goal of Juan Monteros has seemed to be hurt by either punch with the knockdowns that they suffer. No, but the goal of knockdown. The goal of knockdown was certainly a legitimate knockdown. He walked right into a straight right hand. Watch your head, get out. La cabeza, okay? All right, box. Don't push it down, don't push it down. Let go. Sigue peleando, sigue peleando. Using his jab, but Monterosa continues to come forward. The right hook that connected by Golu. And now Monterosa is the one being aggressive. And this is what Keep you it want out there. in the guy who is quote unquote supposed to lose. You want him to be aggressive. You want him to get that doubt back into the mind of the prospect. That's another low, low blow there by Golu. The referee had put him out of position. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. And they want the left hand, the corner of Monterosa is imploring him to use the left hand. They want the left hand. That's a nice two-point combination by Golo. And Golo sends Monterosa on the canvas. I think his leg just gave him. He's been having issues when it comes to his leg. Yeah, because he went to step. As soon as he stepped, he just went down. It's as if his leg just gave him. Monterosa, you can tell, is having issues. Now Golu trying to bring an end to the night of Monterosa. All these knockdowns on Luzo Kim. Straight left by Golu. Again, his leg just gave in. And down goes Monterosa. I think he's having issues. He's pointing to the back of his leg. That's a hamstring. His hamstring seemed to be hurting him as does Monterosa, and this is extremely problematic, and Golu is going to be able to tee off on Monterosa. He's literally a stationary target. And Golu needs to work the power. And he goes again. I think this one is over, and yes, he asked, and this one is over. And Golu with the technical knockout, but Monterosa, his hamstring's clearly hurting him. 248, TKO. And Golu gets the victory. Gets back in the win column. He said that he was a scratch with the Oh, There were so many knockdowns on the first count, as I said, but this is early in the round. Golu. Looking to set up something, lands a nice left hand, steps back out, resets, a one two, snaps the head back, a right hook. Monterosa throws a wild right hand. And just look at, and there the leg just gave it's out. The yeah. right leg just gave out immediately. I think Couldn't he even keep himself upright. That wild right hand he threw may have thrown his back or his leg out. This is the end of the fight, when he just had no balance, no strength in his leg, nothing really lands. He's all right, he's all right. And you can see he just goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, referee, any call you for the hall to discuss the official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 48 seconds of round number three. Your winner by technical knockout, Ivan the Volk Gola. Successful here tonight with the victory over Fidel Monterosa. And at this point, it doesn't matter how you get the victory, a W is a W. And yeah, that's what they say. Don't worry about looking good the next time.